Hey love loves and welcome back to my channel. As you guys already know, we are like three weeks into a new year. It is 2018, which is just so crazy. And with the new year means new resolutions and goals. And for the last two years, I've put up a new year's resolutions videos and it's really cool to go back and be like, oh my gosh, I achieved so much or I still need to work on these few things. So I love doing these videos. I hope you guys enjoy. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys my resolutions, goals, and how I created this list. I feel they're really important to share and maybe they're things you guys didn't think of or maybe they inspire you to add something else to your list. Does everyone feel like 2017 was like a really weird year? <laughs> For me, it was a year of like change, growth, realization, and like preparation. And I feel like now it's really clear what it was like preparing me for. It didn't make sense at the time and it just felt like it was a really messy year. But now I completely understand and I'm so glad those few things happen. It's almost as if I had to do certain things last year to be prepared for this year. And I know that sounds kind of silly because that's obviously how life goes. You do one thing and it prepares you for the next, but that's exactly how it felt for me. And 2018 feels like focus, determination, clarity, and independence. It's almost as if last year I started to like find my purpose and I'm just really excited to focus on that, focus on discovering who I am and just really building that this year. And yeah, I'm just excited to see where it takes me. Okay, so I'm really excited about my resolutions. I kind of took a different approach of how I look at resolutions. I feel like I kind of misunderstood the difference between a resolution and a goal. So this year I made them two not completely different things, but definitely put different things under those categories. And I just kind of feel like my mindset has shifted in the last few months. And I feel like I can go into this new year with like clear intentions as to what my resolutions are and what my goals are. In the past, I kind of just thought they were the same, that resolutions were goals. And it's not that that's not true. It's just in my head, it made more sense when I kind of defined what a resolution was and what a goal was. And to me, a resolution is something that's for yourself that you want, like that you want to better yourself. And then a goal is like obtainable things that you can actually achieve. You can set deadlines to, you can make them happen. Both go hand in hand, but it definitely makes more sense when you write it out and you can clearly see the two different types of intentions for that year. So this year I wrote out my main resolutions and then ways that I wanted to work towards those. And then for my goals, I clearly wrote out each goal that I wanted to achieve under different categories. Like I had a business, I had personal, and then I took it a step further and wrote out a 30, 60, 90 day plan as to how I can achieve those goals. So like clear steps that I can take over the next 30, 60, 90 days to achieve and actually make those goals happen. I definitely find it helps when you put dates next to your goals because the then you know when you want to achieve them by and you can take the proper steps to making that happen. And this is also why I do this video. When you verbalize it, when you're putting that intention out there, you are making your goals even more of reality because you're thinking through them, you're telling somebody about them. So definitely highly recommended to write out your goals, set dates next to them. And without further ado, let's get into my resolutions and goals. Okay, so my resolutions. It took me a while to figure out exactly what I wanted them to be, but I narrowed them down into five things that I really want to work on for myself this year to better myself. So my first New Year's resolution is to work on my personal happiness, and I'm going to do this by working out, going to yoga, eating healthy, doing things that I like, learning more about like food and health and fitness, as well as like learning about beauty and makeup, just anything that makes me happy and being true to myself, I really want to focus on this year and just be a little bit selfish because Sometimes when you're selfish and you do things for yourself, you're happy. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I found out being a little bit selfish is okay. And I'm going to do that. <laughs> so my second resolution is to continue on my spiritual journey. And I'm going to do this by like surrounding myself with like-minded people and just sharing ideas and thoughts and just picking their brains of how like what they know. And then also by like going to yoga and like working on meditation. Also reading books that like expand my mind and just think of new ways of looking at things or like understanding people better. Also writing my journal. I've been filling out the five minute journal every morning and every night and I've noticed that has made a huge huge difference in my life and Sawyer's been doing it with me as well and it's been a lot of fun to have something that we can do together and hold each other accountable. Also learning about myself is continuing on my spiritual journey, understanding myself better. Especially this resolution is just 
ever evolving. Like, I don't think you ever just be like, yep, made it on my spiritual journey. It's like, no, you just keep growing and you keep changing and evolving. So the third resolution is to continue to build my brand. I put this in the resolutions because it is not something I can do in a year. It's something that's continually growing. So I want to do this by focusing on the three things. I'm focusing on fashion, beauty, and like lifestyle this year, as well as only post things that's like true to who I am and what I want out there. And just really focusing on myself and what I want this year. I just really think that'll help build my career and help eventually get me to my end goal. My fourth resolution is to learn more about cameras, editing, and my blog. I really feel like it's important to understand fully my business and how to do it and how to like edit and figure out WordPress and I just really want to understand that better and just continue to learn more about my business because that's important and my fifth and final resolution is to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle that's with working out and eating healthy there's just a balance between all of it and that's something that's always changing it's situational it's seasonal it's who you're around and so just live the best healthy lifestyle that I can and I feel like life and something that I've really learned this year it's all about balance it's eating a little bit unhealthy but balancing it with eating really healthy and sometimes I go from working out a ton every day sometimes twice a day to working out every other day so it's just balance and you go back and forth and that's fine but I just really want to embrace a balanced healthy lifestyle this year so yeah guys those are my resolutions for this year and I'm going to quickly share a few goals as well so my next category is YouTube and I really want to do one lookbook a season I love filming lookbooks and that's something I really want to do for you guys as well as myself it's like a fun little creative outlet for me so I want to do one lookbook a season as well as I really want to collab more so a goal is to collab once a month with some awesome people and my last goal for YouTube is to have a set uploading schedule I'm really excited to be uploading regularly so to have a regular schedule will be really nice for me as well as for you guys so you guys know where my content is coming out but that is a huge goal for this year to have a regular uploading schedule now my goals for Instagram are to plan photo shoots and just have more fun content on my Instagram as well as posting once a day sometimes it's really hard to have that many photos ready to go and ready to post but that's something I really want to work on this year is photo content I find it really fun and I can't wait to show you guys some of the stuff I've been working on and for my blog I have a few goals as well I really want to change some things in the layout and also I want to post twice a week and be more consistent on there as well so the last category in my goals is personal a few things in my personal life that I want to achieve is eating a healthy diet as well as going home once a season I find it really important to go home and see my family I want to try to do that at least four times a year I feel like that's very doable I really want to travel to Paris this year. I want to go to Portugal. I really want to go back to Tulum this year and take Sawyer as well as go to the Bahamas. So those are four places that I would like to go this year. Another personal goal is making working out a lifestyle. Um, like I said, sometimes you go back and forth between it being really extreme to not going that often. So I just want to make it more of a lifestyle so that way it just becomes habitual and then you don't really think about it. It's just something that you do in your life. And my last goal in my personal category is to continue Continue to grow with Sawyer. That's just an ongoing goal and kind of resolution. I love to put that intention out there every year just to continue to grow and have fun with Sawyer and continue to enjoy his presence in my life. <sighs> so those were all my goals. <laughs> so from here I wrote down my 30, 60, 90 day plan and it takes a little bit of time but it's really nice to be able to see how you can achieve all these goals. Basically you just break down exactly how you want to achieve each of these goals and when you want to achieve them by. And I have to say the hardest part about all this is writing out what you actually want deciding what you want. It actually took me so long to decide what I wanted my resolutions to be because I had like so many ideas, but when I narrowed it down to what was most important to me, I got those five things. So I challenge you to do that. Take the time, if you haven't done so already, or if you have, maybe go revisit it and see if you can narrow it down to exactly what you want for your year. Trust me, when you make those intentions, they become so much more powerful and so much more easy to wrap your head around. Like writing it down, seeing that I wanted more personal happiness and then ways I could achieve it, I'm like, that's so easy. I just have to be true to myself. 
and sometimes you get wrapped up in all this other stuff and goals and so by narrowing it down into exactly what you want you feel much more prepared organized and very grateful that you did this for yourself because now you have clear intentions for 2018 well loves those are my 2018 resolutions and goals I can't thank you enough for listening I honestly think the most powerful thing you can do is share it with somebody so I appreciate you guys being here and holding me accountable I would also love to hear some of your guys' resolutions and goals so feel free to comment down below and we can talk about our 2018 intentions together <laughs> but yeah I just have a really good feeling about 2018 I'm really excited to see what it has to offer what's in store just looking back and thinking what I achieved and where we went and traveled to in 2017 was absolutely insane so I'm just really excited and thankful and grateful. So thank you for being here. Thank you for all your support. And I love you guys. Write your intentions down. Be proactive. Take the share into your own hands and put your intentions out there. You are powerful and you guys can do it. 2018 is a good year. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not done so already. But yeah, I will see you guys soon. Have a great day and happy new year. Bye. <laughs>